Hello everyone, the Great Papyrus here, welcoming you back to Papyrus Plays Battleship Brigade. So last episode we had an encounter with the bandits, and in this episode I think we're about to have yet another encounter, which is with Lota, or Lada. Alright, so now we have combat items to work with, along with all of our cookware. Try me. Oh, believe me, I intend to. Because I refuse to lose. <sighs> I feel bad for Thrash going through all this. No wonder he seemed a bit out of it during the competition, looking back. Because seriously, he was dealing with some rough stuff. And this is all taking place before the competition anyway. Alright, so now it's a double thing. And I'm guessing the last one will be three. Mm-hmm. Alright, Paz, and who is the other person? Mm-hmm. Oh, I intend to win them back. Darn right. <clears throat> Second in name, but most assuredly not in spirit. Mm -hmm. Fine pleasure, most high, to present Lotta the Silver Tongue. Alrighty. Is well received. Wait, weren't you talking normally before? Hmm. Dorothy, I pretty what would Dorothy, huh? That's her name. Pardon my shilly shallying, oh good thing, but I cannot choose between two flavors. Alright. I would enjoy a spot of fire and a in harmony. I'm starting to think these guys were actors turned bandits. On this moral most fine, mine taste turns to a fire-filled dish. Okay, so fire and fire and earth. And now, what's the ingredient of choice? And with Dorothy's glowing presence beside me, I shall reveal our mm -hmm. ingredient post-haste. Lapizard. Lapizard, huh? Oh, those things? Okay. So it's a Lapizard battle. Fair enough, let's go. So it's essentially just comp competitive cooking, but with bandits. This is so bizarre. Okay, those aren't lapizards. There's a lapizard. At least now I have extra satchel space, so I don't have to worry so much. Okay, I've got some lapizard tail and legs, but that's really not enough for a dish, now is it? Need a bit more. Come on. Get some Cragmore in there, but oh, that's blue. I don't really want that. Alright. Let's see if there's any more Lapizard. Aha! Hello! Only legs, really? Uh, at least the lantern fruit could give us some much needed lovin' in terms of flame. Okay, so let's get some of these mushrooms, because I know these caps have some some of the green that we're gonna need. I would like to get at least one more. Screw off, Cragmore. Aha! There we go. Because now that I know that we can match three poison ingredients... Wait, no, we can't with the pots that we have. Shoot. Okay. We'll be able to make the most of this. Okay, jerky, going in. Alright, next we're going to do the legs of the Lapizard. And that's gonna be how we start this shindig. I think we're gonna go with the fire and earth dish first. Get the strong stuff started right away. Okay, now we're gonna have to do a little shift over to here. Get the green ingredient mixed in. Really, you do it that way. No complaints. I can make it work. Alright, much better. Okay, so back into the fire pot with you. Alright, let's get this shifted around. So we're up to three level three fires. So let's put it in the green, and let's get in the Lapizard tail. Alright. As well, we're gonna do a little thing here. We're gonna add in some emerald grass. So that's gonna help us get the greens in. Perfect. Alright. Two. And three! So we're good in terms of the greens, in all honesty. I honestly think this could work out pretty darn well. But, since I'm not one to just go all willy-nilly in on something... Alright, let's at least poison this one green... Okay. 
We need at least one more red to put there to balance out the dish. I have lantern fruit. But oh, it's really cracked. Perhaps this was not the brightest move. Okay. No! Don't crack that. I'm trying to. Ah. Yeah, no, there's no way this is gonna work. Crack them. Although, this kind of worked out in a weird way, so you know what? Take it, you dang bandit. Now, let's focus on fire. What's your deal, anyway? These ingredients don't seem that important. Oh, shush you. That's none of your business. Uh, it what is my business. I think your accent is slipping. Thou must be hearing things. Yeah, no, honey, your accent is slipping. I can tell. Okay, so this lantern fruit is a risky ingredient. Let's see if we can get something other than Lapizard in there. I'm thinking, uh, some loopier. I don't want it to be just that, though. I'm gonna have to find some more Lapizard just to be sure. And I think I'm gonna take this fiery sauce to help. All right, easy now. All right, there's some more Lapizard. You know, you'd think I could get my ingredients right then and there, but no. And of course, you're giving me ingredients I don't really need. Ah, it's Lapizard, though, so you know what? I'll douse it in fiery sauce. Still got time here. Wait. Oh, no, you don't. Give me back that ing... Did it seriously just turn that into a jelly sauce? Ah, dang it. Oh, well. We'll make do. All right. We are sticking strictly with fire, so let's heat things up. Okay, two Lapazar tails. Let's go to work. Okay, that starts us off fairly decently. All right. Now let's pick this, pick it up, put it in the green. Okay, match that together. All right. Decent start. All right. Now let's add in the Lapizard back. And then we're gonna douse these with a fire sauce to help match things up quite nicely. And add in the Lupier bladder as well. And the lantern fruit. Ugh, there's no room for it. All right, we'll make room in a bit. Okay, get that squared away, so that way we have another level three. Okay, get that matched up. Good. All right, let's make some room. Let's sort our ingredients. Hmm. I guess we could add in the quarry cap. You need something to balance it out, right? 60 seconds. Don't have a lot of time to dawdle, so... Let's not waste too much time, shall we? Okay. So we can at least crack that one. And let's get this all sorted, so that way I can add in the one ingredient that's gonna be risky. Which is the lantern fruit. Okay, the risk was calculated. I think we're gonna try it. Let's go! Okay! Let's hope that we do good. Let us make haste and eat before our meals cool! Alright, judgment time! Let's see how we did. Lotta has a lupier meat pie topped with hydrophen and earthen sauce assortment. Unfortunately, they did not put in the Lapazard at all. And they really didn't do much in terms of fire, so... Mm. Meanwhile, I've brought in Lapazard legs with a side of legs and tail assortment. And I made sure to balance it out just right. So, boom, baby! Meanwhile, for the fire dish, Lata brought crackborn chips garnished in watery sauce and hydroneck. And yet again, she seems to have missed the point of this dish, though she did get the fire in, which is good on her. Congratulations! Meanwhile, I'm bringing Lupir Thai Coxina with a side of Lapazar tail and back medley. And talk about fire! It ain't perfect, but I think I did good. 
and I think that's another heart in my possession. Oh, it would seem we've lost fairly. Lover, it is time you gave our competitor his due. Darn tootin'. Boss, he said we'd lose our paycheck if the goods weren't delivered. Not too bad. Scandal. Pray tell, Lover, wouldst thou defy mine orders and speak as a common knave? <laughs> my pretty thing. How can we put food on thine table if we give the heart to this orc? Mm -hmm. manage, as have we always. I'll give Paz credit. At the very least, he's respectable. You know, and at the very least, if we win, we've earned our victory. Even though he's still what we're earning. You are, Sir Thrash. You mentioned mm. Who hired you these guys anyway? Why do they want my hearts? It would mm. be dishonorable to break faith with our employer. Uh, at least he's got some code of honor. It's stealing's fine. <laughs> some moral code. Yeah, it's a little bit messed up. But we have the second heart, the heart of water. All that's left now is the heart of fire. <sighs> this quest has certainly become rather complicated rather quickly, hasn't it? I just hope we can manage. Seriously, this is getting a bit nuts even for me. Alright, time to sleep. But how can Thrash sleep in all honesty, knowing his wife is in danger? I can't say I blame him for being frustrated with all this. What could the last one be? Well, with them, of course. Thrash, may I enter? Ah, Kirin. Yeah, come on in. All it's right. the remedies Belkior and I have been working on. Yeah, what's Does up? one of them hold up? No, and I'm afraid none of them will. Belkior says we must keep trying, but I've used the entirety of my medicinal knowledge and still cannot produce a cure. <sighs> Looks like the hearts are the only solution. I, I failed. Now, when you need me most, my expertise is meaningless. Hey, don't sell yourself short. You're trying here, you know? Give yourself some credit. I've had days to find the bandit, and only two hearts to show for it. You've done more than I could ever ask. Exactly. At least you're trying your hardest. The absence of progress. You have learned more about your opponent every day. That is significant. I wish I could say the same. Well, this opponent is quite difficult to figure out. Non-stop since I told you about Ardia. Have you even slept? I would hope so. Well, I... Not, not much. much. Then let's remedy that for both of our sakes. I am certain you could use a full night's sleep. Well, let's hope. Uh, you're probably right. Are you going to be okay? Yes. And yourself? I hope so. Only time will tell, huh? Proper sleep is important. Don't stay up too late. Now then. Kieran was right. I do feel better. This is why you get a good night's sleep. All right. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, huh? Hell cure. For you, or what, I hope is news. what you hope is news? Other kind. I've been racking my brain for some clue as to who might have hired those bandits. And I have a hypothesis. That being? I had an associate back at Oris Academia. Rixel. Rixel. Was talented, but lacking in empathy. Okay. He's very angry at the brigade's decision to fund me out of university and attempted to sabotage my efforts. Uh huh. You think he hired the bandits to steal your research? It's Perhaps possible. It'd make the most sense. A member of the brigade's research corps, but you wouldn't know it from his demeanor. Oh, really? You find him? No, he hasn't reported to his station in several days. He may believe he's stolen a vital hmm. piece of the Ambrosia project. Hmm. I'll see if I can find anything else about him. Thanks, Belkir. Well, at least we have some form of a lead, which is good. All right, so where's our next opponent? Aha, uh -huh. Dio, huh? Mm hmm. What the heck? All right, well, let's challenge this guy. All right. Well, we're getting two cook-offs in one episode. Right. And yes, I know I've been skipping the puzzle and, you know, stuff like that. At this point, it's all the same. So I figured let's get to the good stuff, you know? Let's get to the stuff that is more important to the story. So, one more cook-off. Hopefully this will get us the hearts. <sighs> Only time will tell. Because now we have three judges to entertain. It really is like the big three, only we get breaks in between. Tis mine pleasure to remain. Fain pass the magnificent on this most exciting morn. 
Yes, of course. As I looked upon the faces of my fellows last night, my mind did waltz among memories long past. Mm-hmm. I dreamt a dream of face beams, incredible. These guys really are actors turned bandits, aren't they? Society who did not understand their genius. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, Thrash ain't having it today. I'm sorry you had to quit acting to become bandits. I'm sorry you're mixed up in this. I wish I could help you. You know, even when he's pissed, he's having empathy. I like that. But please listen to me. My wife gets closer to death with every minute you sit around and pontificate. Ooh. She's never needed me for anything, but I've always needed her. I can't let her down. Damn what right. This unbridled anger. Step back, Thane. This orc is danger. Oh great, we got a rhymer. That's not it. My transformation stems from something greater. It comes from the warm looks, long nights, quiet moments, and stupid jokes only we'd laugh at. <laughs> the way she smiled the day I proposed. That's love right there. It comes from love. See? Told ya. My dear fellow, twas never my intention to jeopardize your wife. We shall begin. Speak your desires, mine comrades. Okay. Let's see. Returning to the table is Dorothy. Along with our utmost talented thespian, Bia. All right, Bia, Dorothy, a and Thane. Dish of water and earth, befitting a star of my staff. Okay, water and earth. I require a dish of fire. All right, he so wants fire again. Palette, of which there is no match in all of Victuja. Okay, so you're the fire so boy. Prithee, thou wilt make me a dish with fire and earth. And fire and earth again. Sadia, my most mighty friend. Show this orc the flames of our passion. Mm -hmm. I give thee the most superlative ingredient for the task. Squickle. Squickle? Oh, those little squid thingies? Okay, so we can get that. Those things are pretty common from what I remember. So he's just constantly in berserk mode, I see. Alright, so let's go find Squickles. Yeah, no, he's just constantly in a berserk. Don't blame him, though, given the nonsense he's been dealing with all day. Okay. Let's grab our ingredients. Okay. Squickles and tomatoes, let's go. All right, I'm gonna keep hunting for Squickles, just to be sure. He's just genuinely pissed. I don't blame him, though. Like, good lord. His wife's in danger, and these guys are prattling around like a bunch of idiots. Can't say I blame him for being upset. Oh, I think not, Mr. Dragon. Of course. Alright, well, at least we recover quickly. Maybe there'll be more squiggles on the ground. Tomatoes. Alright, speaking of. Perfect! He's getting a lot of stomachs. Oh, you are pissing me off, Mr. Dragon. Ah! Fricka fracka! Alright, that's it. I'm getting my ingredients back. Come on, you angry- Oh! Squiggle. Ah, at the very least, each time I die, there's more squiggles on the ground. So, somewhat of a plus to all this. Get the squiggle ingredients first. Okay. Grab all this. Okay. So I think we're good to do just cooking now. Because I think we got enough squiggle ingredients for all of the d judges. And the least you don't have to make a dish consisting of all three. Okay, so... Let's put in a squiggle tentacle. Or two. Alright, and then... We start. We're gonna put this in the water dish first. Okay. Alright, get those all mixed in. Perfect. Put that to the side. Now we go into the green pot. Perfect. Lovely! Alright, good start. Now we add in some jerky for that fiery flavor. Beautiful. This is gonna be the fire and earth dish. That's how we're gonna start this off, with fire and earth. Okay, shift that around so that way we can get those two mixed in. Perfect. Lovely. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna add in some emerald grass. I think I might add in both. Okay. 
Let's sort it in. Okay. Perfect. It's three greens. Now I just need one more red. So let's add in. Hmm. We'll do the tomatoes. Alright, now we need to add in... Actually, why don't we just add in the dragon steak? I mean, that'll do just fine, won't it? Wait, no, that adds in... Huh. Okay. Yeah, no, maybe the tomatoes were the best way to go. Alright, let's put this down here. And let's get mixing. Okay. We're at five of those, but we're really unbalanced. Okay. Hmm. All right, fine. Let's let's give this over. It's more earthen than fire, but it happens. All right, do we have any more squickle ingredients? Yes, we do. We've got the squickle stomach. We've got two of those, so let's add those in. We'll add in the dragon's heart as well as All right. I think that should be a good start for us. Oh, shut up. Can't say I blame him. Alright, let's add in the sapphire dew, so that way we can get the earth and water dish done. Okay, that's all in. Alright, let's mix about... Okay, now let's get in some more, at least one more green, so... Sun Hat Tomatoes to the rescue! Okay, let's get those in here. Good. Need at least one more to get what I need done. So, drop it in. And let's put that there. Good. Perfectly balanced, as everything should be. Now we need fire, and lots of it. So here's what we're gonna do. Get rid of you. Get the bar on steak, all these tomatoes. And then get two more squickles. Okay. And we're ready to make the fire dish. Now this is gonna be a real tricky thing that we're about to do, but I think we can pull this off. Okay, so strictly fire. All right, let's add in the squickle tentacle. All right, and the squickle stomach. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with green. And these are just here to garnish the dish at this point. These are not the centerpiece. These are just garnishes. What we want is that blazing heat. Which is why the sun hat tomatoes are so important in this dish. Because while they don't appear to add much, they actually add in the most flame possible. Even if they add in some of the green element. Okay. Let's move all this stuff out of the way. And make way for another squickle tentacle. Okay. That. Alright, let's get this in there to make more room. Okay. Two level two, uh, three uh, earths. Okay. Now. Let's add in those sun hats. Good. This is gonna help us out a lot. Okay, get them reds together. Lovely. All right. Now we are getting somewhere. All right, let's match up this green. Cool. Let's shift that out of the freaking way. Let's get this blue matched up, too, just to move it. Perfect, and that makes room in the pot. Awesome. Now let's drop in another one of those sun hat tomatoes. One on each side. Beautiful. And that'll give us this. And... That. Now, serve it. Okay. That should just about cover it. Here, Dorothy. Shall we partake of the feast before us? Let's hope that the judges like it. I'm most worried about Dorothy, because I kind of flubbed up there. Alright, so Dio brought Takaberry cannoli served with earthen sauce and Karan Hasid assortment. 
All right. He actually mixed his dish pretty well. Good on him. All right. Meanwhile, I have a squickle stomach paella topped with dragon heart and sapphire dew. And I think I balanced mine just a wee bit better. Very nice. Next on the list is the fire dish with a king bean gnocchi with a squickle tentacle and water sauce from, assortment from Dio. He did pretty well for himself. Good on him. Meanwhile, what I'm bringing to the table, Marvelous. dragon shank ibetico, ibetico, served with squickle tentacle and squickle stomach malang. I think I just edged him out on that one. Now for the dish I am most concerned about. Resplendent. He brought a sun hat tomato tortellini served with cheapy horn and bar on steak assortment. But unfortunately, he left poison in the dish which might give me the advantage I need to win this thing. With my pulpo a la squickle tentacle, served with ruby jerky and emerald grass. Ah, but unfortunately, I went more earth. But still, I think I have earned the heart. So flash bested our strongest member. Damn right. The winner. All right. Damn right I'm the winner, look at that score. And what I like is I actually managed to make three separate dishes. I like that. Very good stuff, so, I say. Now give me my heart. Yes. I remain a man of mine honor. I will give this to you. Oh, mm hmm What is wrong with thy wife? Yeah, mm hmm take a hint. There's no time to spare, and I've already wasted so much chasing you around. Yeah, you'd think they'd understand. She has dark brown feet. Mm hmm No one knows how she got it, but these parts are the only things that have a shot at curing her. Mm-hmm. Only hope. Tragic. Romantic. Dramatic. Oh, Jesus. Quite simply, it's the most moving story my ears have ever heard. I think we are the villains. Yeah, because you stole the hearts, you idiots. You have to be. Die as the merciful. Mm -hmm. like to offer our sincerest regrets. My solemn vow to Lizzie, calm down. Depart the way of the bandit and return to the path of theater. Good. Great. And the heart? All yours in it. And to harmonize huh. yours tension, take a bit of information. Rixel's hideout lies in a basement under King's Square. So it was Rixel. Thank you, Bia. The drama. Ugh. Thank you, but I'm getting away from these drama nuts. Shall always be an honorary member of our motley cast. You may call upon us at your whim, and we shall appear ready to assist. Hmm, that is useful. I have to leave. Yeah. Of course. To thine goal, may a thousand headstrong bow run pull ye to thine destination. Oh boy. At least we have the heart of fire. Let's get away from these guys and let's get this over with. Kieran. Belkio, I have the final heart. Yes, finally. Hurry, give them to me. We need to begin the distillation process immediately. Yeah, no kidding. Take twelve hours. Uh huh. Around it. In order to properly hydrolyze the hearts. Hydrolyze. Cooked at a low temperature for many hours. All right. Truly is the quickest. Anything less, and the tincture may not be effective. Okay. Stand waiting to see her anymore. There has to be something I can do. At this Your point, you have to wait. Rash, but you have to think about what's best for Ardia. Mm -hmm. Rushing the preparation may have extraordinarily negative consequences. Yeah. I know, I know, you're right. It's just hard to stand by and do nothing. Well, of course, but Come sometimes waiting is the only thing you really can do. Leave the rest to us. Mm-hmm. All right, Thrash, get some sleep. Just one more night, and I'll see her again. Yep. Hold on, Ardia. And at least we know who's responsible for this, so we can take the fight to them later. You did it! It's real! Alright! Quite real. Here we go! <sighs> Just <three point> minutes ago. <sighs> That's good. Let's get this thing done, shall we? It's made of love and three rare hearts. Wait, you did so much to help me. Maybe I can pay Rixel a visit and suggest he stops trying to sabotage you. Hmm, that would be nice. Hiding out in the basement at King Square. Hmm. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but Rixel cannot stand in the way of science, however hard he may try. Darn tootin'. Still, Belchior, perhaps you should visit him and attempt to put this grudge to rest. 
I will accompany you as protection. Indeed. Be a smart thing. But he's got his rats everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Sanitary in a place of experimentation. <sighs> You're gonna have to get over it. Such a curmudgeon. In any case, we can discuss this later. Thrash must be on his way. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you. Well, <laughs> there you go. That's what friends do. But I'm not. Go, dude. We wish you only the best. Dude, while you waste time talking, yeah. she's probably dying. Freaking move! Hey, yay, yay, you'd think they'd be a little smarter about this. Uh, I I'm not gonna make you wait, guys. I'm gonna make sure this dude leaves for home at the very least. So, oh, leave. Right oh, come on! Instructor Razzle, I really have to go. Mm hmm. I haven't participated in a match since July 8th. Why? Oh, boy. My wife fell ill, and I've been working on an antidote. I haven't had time to think about anything else. Mm -hmm. It's good that you're here, though. I'd like to formally withdraw myself from the Proving Tournament. Holy! I see. Are you sure this is what you want? Talk about you're a sacrifice. One of brightest talents this year, and I don't dole out praise flippantly. Mm -hmm. My family is more important than my place in the tournament. They're the whole reason I came here. Yeah. Very well, kind of important. Right? Your resignation is denied. What? You will return to your family as planned. I will leave this meeting to state that intent. However, I will not disclose the rest of our discussion. No. We need Good on your razzle. You in the brigade. Your heart and candor, they can't be taught. You will make a fine brigadier. Instructor. I like this instructor. Right. If you should not return in time to finish your matches, I will take that as your official resignation. Until then, I look forward to watching you compete again. This girl knows what's up. Yes, miss. How am I moved? Scared and sad all at once. That's the power of a friendly instructor. All right, so let's get this recipe to her now. Because seriously, we've waited long enough to get to this point. Three days later. Thrash, is it really you? Who else would it be? Arnie, my love, I need you to take this medicine. Mm-hmm. Drink up. Is it working? Fingers crossed. Do you feel anything? Ardia? Dia? Ooh. You did all you could, my son. She returns to her mother now. Everything I worked for. No. Everything I did. None of it was enough. I never should have left you. They're really doing that, huh? Wait, wait. Hold on. <coughs> I think a happy end is around the corner. Mommy. Daughter. Mommy. Ah, <sighs> family reunited. Mama. Oh, this is the best I've felt in an age. <laughs> Oh, I was worried for a second. Maybe you should take it easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've rested enough for one lifetime. I've missed you. No. I've missed you too. More than anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, you are. Ardia. There are so many things I wish to say to you. For now, be at ease. I will tell the villagers of your recovery. <laughs> okay. I know what you're going to say and I won't hear it. Uh oh. You know I can't go back after this. I almost lost you once. I won't let that happen again. And I won't let you give up on what you've worked so hard for. Wife of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Kai, Lupa, how Wait, would you like to one of the kids is Kai? Is Kaiser secretly an orc? We have to discover this later. Yeah. We can't take the kids. Monsters no, are my God. anything in sight. Then we'll protect our pups from any monsters foolish enough to get in our way. I like this woman. Thrash married, good. I'm not chieftain yet. We can take a vacation to watch you achieve your dream. No. I don't know what to say. Say yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, uh, we'll leave in the morning. I like this woman. She's good. She is real damn good. <laughs> I give her credit. She knows how to hold on to her man. <laughs> but she's so sweet too. I love it. Okay. It's bigger than Ooh, a she dresses pretty too. Yeah, what the? It's full of the most talented chefs in Victusia. Do I detect hesitation? Ooh. Huh? Me? Never. Cute. Never good at lying. <laughs> How about this? A duel, you and me. Wait, what? Um, Ardia, I think we should go to the inn. Yeah, probably would be a. Me you're scared. Come on, let's shake the rust off together. Uh, but... Dolpha maiden request a duel. Oh God. And we're too late. Yeah, you think? These people. 
Oh boy. <laughs> it is my great pleasure to be. Has the time. They're my, uh, I guess they're my friends. Even okay, better. that's cute. Oh, wow. Thou hast a performance. Oh, jeez. Did we really just get thrown into a battle? Yep, we did. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I can do this. I really don't. Welcome again, my bosom compatriots. Mm hmm. On this finest of morrows, it is mine humblest of honors to speak to thee from the practice kitchen. Mm hmm. Two contestants, both aligned by matrimony, stand ready to face one another in a war of wills. I honestly just wanted to get to the story a bits. Bit dramatic, isn't he? Uh huh. <laughs> you don't know the half of this. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Presiding over thine parent's fate are our special guest judges. Wait, they tell me. What are their names? Mm-hmm. Aww. Papa. Cute. Give me Lala. Water. Mommy, Daddy, can I have Earth? Okay, so water and my Earth for them. And of course, he's a fire guy. Okay, so this dude's strictly Papa. a fire dude. What ingredient could match the magnanimity of our occasion? Huh. Ooh. Hydras too. Oh boy. Wing should be the thing. Taco belly. Twould Taco see belly? Grasp the gravity. Taco belly. Taco belly. <laughs> Lupa Taco is determined. Very well, I relent. Thy theme ingredient indeed is Taco belly. Which is that blueberry. And it literally is a blueberry, so. Okay, hold up, folks. Nope. I, I think not. We've done enough. So what we're gonna do is we are going to basically stop here because this is going on way too long for my own good. So tune in next time as we have a duel of husband and wife. So until that time comes, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below. Let me know your favorite moments from this rather lengthy episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you know when this battle of love is taking place. And also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being... Sebastian Canino, Aaron Lena, iShipIt88, Jesse Barbo 6 Panda475, Nagi Oki, SilverFoxMC, Jay Zillman, Senboy, Angelique De La Rouge, Mighty Chlorophyte, Nicole Simcoe, Cyanid Cupcake, Brianna Anseo, Honor Higgins, Jesse Alvarez, Horizon Dreamer, Happy Haunts 999, Grimmy Leon, Sony Actor Mirrors, Ruby the Wolf, Harley Wolf, and Katie Honey Jade. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, exclusive Let's Plays, and a chance to choose a Let's Play for this channel, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this has been the Great Papyrus, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>